Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to customize the property overview section. By default, in the property page, you will have an overview section with fixed fields, but if you want to customize this section and add your own fields, you will need to create a custom template for your properties. Next, I will show the steps that you need to take to create the custom template and to customize the overview section with the fields that you want. First, I will create a new page. I will go to Admin, Pages, Add New. I will add the page title. I will select the template for property page custom template. This is the one. I will disable title, header and sidebar. Also the theme search. And now I will publish the page. I will create the custom template with Elementor, so I will click Edit with Elementor. And now I will need to add the elements that I want to show on the property page. You will find the widgets for the property custom template in the Elementor sidebar. You will need to scroll to the VP Residence property page widgets and any widget from here can be added in the property custom template. In Team Options Design Property Page Settings, for this option Elementor only ID for sample property, if you add a valid property ID, then the details from that property will show in the custom template and you will have a better view creating your template. The ID that I added can be found in the list of properties. I will show where you can find it. The ID that I added is for this property. So the details from Villa with Amazing View will show in my custom template. If no ID is added, then the details from the last property added in your site will show. Going back to the custom template, now you can start adding the elements that you want to show. For example, I will add property title with drag and drop. And now the first element in the template will be the property title. But for a better starting point, in the theme pack we have already created custom templates that you can import and just change the details. I will show the steps that you need to take to import an already made custom template. All templates will be found in the theme pack. I have saved the full theme pack on my device. This is the file. I will unzip it and in the demo content folder in the element or property page templates you will have all the available custom templates i will go back to admin i will go to element or templates i will click import templates and i will select one of the templates from the team pack so i will go to demo content folder element or property page templates and I will select this custom template. I will press import now. The property custom template is now imported. I will go back to the custom template that I just created. I will remove this widget and now I will import the template. I will click add template button. I will go to my templates. This is the template that I just imported from Teampack. I will press insert. The content from the custom template was imported. And now I can start editing these details and change the elements that I want. I will customize the overview section. This is the one. For this section, the property page overview section widget was used. You can see that you have the fields that were added. I will change them. I will start with hiding the updated on field. For this field you have an yes no option. Also you can display or not the section title and you can change this title. You can see that now the new title that I added here will be displayed. I will set it to not be displayed. And now I will start changing the fields. I will remove all these fields and add new ones. For this one, I will change it to city. You can add a label, but in my case, for the city, the label is not relevant. You can choose an icon, one from Team Options, a custom icon or no icon. I will add a custom icon. You can select one from Font Awesome, one here. I will select this one. 
or you can upload an SVG icon. I will add the next element in the section. This time I will add area. I will add an icon. This time I will upload an SVG icon. I will select one from media. Next I will add categories and also I will add a custom icon from Fontasm. For the next field I will add the number of rooms. For this field a label is suitable so I will add here room and for the plural label I will add rooms. You can see that it changed and also I will add an icon from Font Awesome. I will add random icons. Next I will add bedrooms. You can see that the bedrooms field has an icon assigned in team options so it will apply automatically. Now I will add the label and a label for plural. These are all default fields but you can also add custom fields. I will show how to do. I will go back to admin. I will go to VP Residence Options General. In custom fields you will have the options to add custom fields for your properties. Now I have the demo ones and I will use one of these fields but you can add any custom fields that you want and after add them in overview section I will go back to the custom template. Here I will select one of the demos custom field. I will select this one. I will add a label. The plural option is not relevant for this field. I will also add an icon. Next I will add a new field. I will add the property energy class. I will add a label and an icon. I will select one from Fontasm. And now I will add the last field. I will add another demo custom field. This is the one. Since this field has an icon assigned in team options, it will show. I will leave it. And now the overview section is done. I will save the changes made. And next you can proceed with setting design elements for this section. From this section you can change the section width. You can see how it works. From style section you can set a box shadow. From spaces and sizes you can set the margin button value for the title if you have it enabled. I will show. I will enable the title and in style here you can change this value. You can change the padding of the section. You can change the border radius for the section. Next in typography you can change the title font settings. You can change font family, weight, style and make other settings and also you can change typography for the property labels. Next in colors you can change the background color for the overview section. You can change the section title color. And also you can change the text color. In advanced you can make settings for the position of the section on the page. You can change the padding value and make other settings. Once you have finished the custom property template you will have two options to use the template on your properties. One, assign the custom template globally and the custom template will apply for all properties in your site or I can assign this custom template only for this property. I will show both ways. To assign the template only for this property, I will need to edit the property, go to the appearance options and here I will need to select the custom template that I just created. I will save the changes made. I will go back to the property page and on refresh the new template will show. And now I will go to Team Options, Design, 
property page settings and I will set this template as a global template. I will need to select it from here and save changes. This wraps our video, thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.